When running a business means... Where did I put that receipt? We can help you with instant accounting, free software that does your bookkeeping for you. <laughs> when running a business means... Wait, why do you mean the container hasn't arrived? We help protect your business from risk with Mohwebi Insurance. And when it means... How do we pay our staff that don't have bank accounts? We help you make multiple payments directly to people's phones with e-wallet bulk send. At FNB, we're constantly innovating to help business owners at every stage of their journey. With borders still closed for travel, the tourism industry is looking into ways of allowing that customers to enjoy the wilder world from the comfort of their own homes in what some commentators now term so far safaris. Tonight we speak to Emily Wallington, co-founder of a company called Wild Earth. Their main mission is to connect the world with nature virtually. They currently do this through expert-hosted interactive shows daily on the internet for free. That platform allows people to join an expert guide who drives them around the wilderness, asking the guide questions in real time, which makes it feel like one is actually there. Could COVID-19 be the moment in which virtual tourism takes off in a big way? Does our guest see a time in which virtual tourism will be preferred over real travel? Does it have a much brighter future beyond what some people say is a marketing tool for travel agencies? These are the questions we asked Emily. We have been um, producing um, these virtual safaris for many, many, many years. And definitely this um, lockdown and the, the, the global pandemic has created a massive surge in people um, watching our safaris. We have had quite a lot of success in the past. We have a very, very loyal and um, trustworthy um, community. I think that um, it's not really a tool for travel agencies. I think, yes, it's a way of possibly drawing people in and showing them the animals that exist in these places but that's been able to you know you've been able to find that um, on the the internet for many times if I wanted to go on safari to Botswana then I would just look up the name of the lodge and they would give me on their website all the different animals that are there and I could watch wildlife documentaries on Botswana and stuff. I think virtual tourism is more about allowing people to feel they are in nature at times when they can't be. Um, it has a massive healing um, quality, being able to, that, that very therapeutic feeling of watching an elephant herd as they come down to the water in the sunset and drinking, it's, it makes you feel good. When you've had a very stressful day at work, you've had an argument with your kids or your husband and you want to relax, you will watch this and what we do is it's very authentic it's actually happening right there and then and we don't cut it we don't edit it we don't try and make it fast paced we just tell it as it is so currently we do live safaris that um, are public and we have many many hundreds of thousands of people watching and asking questions and it's very hard to scale that interactivity you know if you get a question answered these days you're very lucky it's hard for us to be able to deal with all the amount of questions and comments and interactions that the viewers want to have. And I think what a good thing is that we're rolling out and we, 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 we very much are developing and, and think a thing of the future is people are able to be able to go on experiences with their friends and family into nature and have their own private guide. So if you go to an a, a, a safari, you, arrive, you pay a lot of money, you arrive at the lodge, they, uh, they give you a vehicle, they give you a guide, and you go on, on, on two, two safaris a day, and there's up to 10 of you on the vehicle only, and it, it's very intimate. You can talk to the guide whenever you want. And so I think we would like people to know out there that we will be rolling out this opportunity where if it's a Saturday afternoon and you have nothing to do, you can call up your family, your friends, get 10 of you together, uh, all get together on a Zoom um, connection or some other platform. 